Hello students, welcome to Excellence Classes Way of Learning. Today we are going to discuss exercise 3.2. Okay? Let's start. Exercise 3.2. Let's see question number 1. Write the answer of each of the following questions. Here first is what is the name of horizontal and the vertical lines drawn to determine the position of any point in the Cartesian plane? Here we have a Cartesian plane and here x axis and here y axis. Here we clearly see that horizontal line is x axis and the vertical line is y axis. So horizontal line is called the x axis and the vertical line is called the y axis. Vertical line is called the y axis. Okay. Now, next, what is the name of each part of the plane formed by these two lines? Students, you know very well that the coordinate axis divides the plane into four parts here first, second, third, and fourth. These parts are called quadrants. So, the name of each part of the plane that is formed by x axis and the y axis is called as quadrant ok now next write the name of the point where these two lines intersect students the point where x axis and y axis intersect is denoted by O and it is called as origin ok before starting question number 2 we have to revise these points. Here first is what is abscissa students? Hum previous class we discussed what is abscissa? The perpendicular distance of a point from the y axis called its abscissa or x coordinate. Okay. Now next point is what is ordinate? Students, what is ordinate? The perpendicular distance of the point from the x axis is called its ordinate or y coordinate okay now our next point is what is coordinates of the point students if abscissa means x coordinate of a point is x and the ordinate means y coordinate is y then x comma y are called the coordinates of the point okay now see question number two see figure and write the following here is the figure in first, we have to find the coordinates of B. Students, to find the coordinates of point B, firstly we see the distance of point B from the Y axis. Students, this distance. Here we clearly see that this distance is equal to this. The distance of point B from Y axis is 5 units. And the distance of point B from the X axis is 2 units. Okay. Point B lies in second quadrant so the coordinates of point b are minus 5 comma 2 clear so here the coordinates of point b are minus 5 comma 2 in second we have to find the coordinates of point c here the distance of point c from y axis is 1 2 3 4 5 units Okay, and the distance from x axis is 5 units. Here we clearly see. But we know that the point C lies in the fourth quadrant. So the coordinates of point C are 5 comma minus 5. Okay, so the coordinates of point C are 5 comma minus 5. Now next. Here we have to find the point identified by the coordinates minus 3 comma minus 5. Students let's see minus 3 on x axis is here and minus 5 on y axis is here. So the point identified by the coordinates minus 3 comma minus 5 is point E. Okay clear. Next the point identified by the coordinates 2 comma minus 4. Now see here, 
2 on x axis is here and minus 4 on y axis is here. So the point identified by the coordinates 2 comma minus 4 is point G. Okay. Next here we have to find the abscess of the point D. Students firstly we have to find the coordinates of point D. Here the distance of D from y axis is 6 units and the distance of point D from x axis is 2 and this point lies in first quadrant. All of you know that in first quadrant abscess and ordinate both are positive. So the coordinates of point D are 6 comma 2 and the abscess of point D is 6. Okay. So the abscess of the point of the point D is 6. Okay. Clear. Now next we have to find the ordinate of point H. Students distance of point H from Y axis is 5 units. Okay and from x axis is 3 units it lies in third quadrant so the coordinates of point h are minus 5 comma minus 3 so the ordinate of the point h is minus 3 okay so here the ordinate of the point h is minus 3 Okay. Now next, here we have to find the coordinates of point L. Students, in figure, point L lies on y axis. So its x coordinate is 0 because all of you know that the x coordinate of every point on y axis is 0. Now the y coordinate of point L is distance of point L from x axis that is 5 units. So y coordinate is 5. Students, point L lies on positive y axis. So coordinates are 0, 5. Okay. Now next, the coordinates of the point M. Students, in figure, point M lies on x axis. So x coordinate of point M is distance from y axis that is 3 units. And remember, M is lies on negative x axis. So x coordinate of point M is minus 3. And y coordinate is 0. So the coordinates of the point M are minus 3 comma 0. Okay. Exercise complete. In next class, we will discuss the next exercise of this chapter. Okay students.